The 2022 Game Awards happened December 8th, and I did not watch it. I did not give a damn about it either. But it seems like they've announced some new games. Listen up, I'm gonna tell you what I'm hyped for, alright? Let's get it. Now, I haven't played the previous Lords of the Fallen, nor do I want to. Seeing this trailer has me interested in this one. Even if I'm really sick of the grim dark look that so many of these Souls games seem to have, I like this one. It seems like there's a little bit more to it, at least I think. But not only that, gameplay wise, the light mechanic seems pretty interesting. So, I'm intrigued. And, you know, I'm really happy to see the devs taking another stab at this IP. I remember seeing the trailer, looking it up, and seeing the beta was soon. Then I signed up right away. From my guess, I think Wayfinder will be a action-oriented game, just with a ton of loot. To share, and, well, keep for yourself. I like the girl with the daggers and the dude with the scythe, so I'm not sure what I would play in the beta if I get in. But I will at least know I will enjoy myself, regardless of the one I choose. Like Wayfinder, I found myself doing the same exact thing with Meet Your Maker. I signed up for the beta right away. The aesthetic is something I can get behind. I was so impressed by it that I had to look at the old trailer as well. I really like the art design. Don't think I'll ever get over it. On top of that, the character models, even though they're probably customizable, I really like the way they look here. Meet Your Maker seems like it'll hinge on the map creation from the community. And I have to say, for a new game IP, that might be a little bit risky, but that's okay. Maybe if this game gets a little bit more publicity, there'll be plenty of people making maps for people to go through. And if this game is done right, it can effectively last forever. I mostly want to play this game as a player rather than a creator, but you never know. I might mess around and find out what it's like being a creator in there. Even though I already knew about Replaced, the new trailer was a relief to see, because that's a sign of life. I know it's not gonna go away forever into the ether. So yeah, of course I'll play this one. But I can't exactly include this in the list for this time, because I already knew about it. And also, Judas has a look. Also, Judas has a strong art style, and I like it. I don't know if I'll play it though. I never really found myself interested in Bioshock. Eh, but who knows, it might change. Remnant 2. This was the one that I'm excited for the most, and why I wanted to make this video in the first place. I've played and beaten the first game with friends. I had a blast with the first game. It's not often I get to pull out a shotgun on a kid. That's peak gaming right there. I was a melee build. If you haven't played the game, you wouldn't know, but if you have, you would realize I pretty much uh, neutered my character. But I still had fun anyway. I was a very tanky guy. I hope Remnant 2 doesn't leave melee builds in the dust. I don't remember it being shown in the trailer. If I'm wrong, I will uh, I'll show it, but it uh, seemed like they didn't care about it, so I'm wondering if it's even there in the first place. Or if it's simply just a get off me tool. Anyway, if that's the case, I'm just gonna have to get over it. Can't wait for the game. And that's it. Honestly, I will never care about the Game Awards, and never will. But at the event, they tend to show cool new games, and I'm always interested in that. I just have to wait for people on the Dumb Bird website to talk about it. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot if you did. And if you want updates on what I'm going to do next, please follow me on Twitter.